here we walk in the front door the idea is that in the entry uh, we currently just have a little three foot hall we will possess this next three feet um, into the same entryway uh, reversing the swing of the door so all this will be part of the entryway this three feet the coat closet and the bathtub which is right over there so this is all entryway up to that wall um, we'll put a coat closet underneath the stairway right there and have the stairway kind of a uh, dump out down here at an angle down to to on that wall right there so you go up to get upstairs, you'll go uh, take up two or three, four stairs, whatever, to up to the landing. And then the stairs are in this wall up, going up that way. So this wall is removed. Uh, here's that center wall where the, it appears that this center wall is where the ceiling joists cross over. Um, of course, it can't be uniform everywhere. Uh, Probably on this wall here. They cross over somewhere. Probably this wall right there. Probably this middle wall, but up in this area, they're not, they're certainly crossing over here or here. So the ceiling joists are resting probably here on this. Don't know where they're. I haven't been up in the attic, but obviously they're not. So they're probably just tied together right here. Uh, this is going to be completely removed. This is the opening. We want to be way bigger than this. We'll make it extend out this way so that it's six feet wide. Uh, then this headroom will go up until we have to touch the beam. Remember, we're going to put the uh, 4x12 on top of the whole deal so that it'll be way higher. In the kitchen, we'll have this be a C-shaped kitchen with a, a peninsula right here. And then since there's no, um, that isn't there, we'll have the uh, refrigerator and range be over here on this side. And then this will not be cabinets. This will be opening here into that room. And so now we have the eat-in. There's no cabinets right here. Instead, there's a peninsula right here. Uh, there we go, and that's going into the playroom.